Hi, Colin Lay here, Chief Lawyer Human at Lay Roots, and I want to talk to you about who you should name as the beneficiary of your life insurance policy. So we got this question from a uh, husband and wife uh, with a newborn baby. They have, they both have insurance policies, um, and they were curious to know who should be named as a beneficiary if both uh, the husband and wife died simultaneously. Um, so one of the biggest mistakes we see people make is they name their minor child as a beneficiary of their life insurance policy, usually a secondary beneficiary. So the spouse will be the first beneficiary, the child will be the second one. So that's a mistake because children can't, or minors under the age of 18 can't inherit property. Um, so if a minor is designated, the insurance company is, is going to withhold that payment. And what's going to happen is you have to open a probate proceeding. Um, a financial guardian is going to be appointed, a professional fiduciary, and they're going to be paid to look after your children's money. Um, you know, charging fifty, seventy-five, hundred dollars an hour to look after this money until your kids are eighteen, and then your kids will inherit uh, whatever is left over in one lump sum at age eighteen, which um, is also a bad idea. But um, sticking to life insurance, uh, this couple wanted to know who they should name if not the minor child. Um, the question was, you know, could they name their parents or uh, the long-term guardians? You know, because those are the people who are going to need the money, uh, the long-term guardians. And the parents are obviously somebody who they trust who would spend the money um, for the children's need. Um, you know, it, it could be safe in that sense. Um, so it's a possibility, but there is a big drawback in that, um, well, one, it's not, it becomes their money. It becomes either the parents or the guardian's money. It no longer, it no, no longer belongs to their minor children. And that might be fine. Um, you know, they might spend it you know, in the child's best needs, uh, what have you. You know, you trust that they're not going to run away with the money, you know, take a nice vacation, buy a new house for themselves, something like that. But the problem is, is the money is not protected for uh, the children. So say they leave it to their parents, uh, and maybe the parents get in a car accident, uh, and the other person who is in the accident sues them for you know some crazy amount of money, and their insurance doesn't cover the full amount. So they're going to see this big, you know, honey bucket of a insurance policy payment, and they're going to go after that. Uh, and since it's their parents' property, it's totally available uh, to lawsuits, uh, to divorces if they're married. Um, so that money could be lost, and then it wouldn't be used for the benefit of your children. So. Uh, you know, I believe, and these uh, this couple, you know, they ended up uh, making a, re a revocable living trust. You basically, the uh, you make the trust the beneficiary of the life insurance policy. So that way, the money would be paid out to the trust, and then the trustees would have the immediate access to that money uh, to use it for the benefit for the care of your children without the worry of, you know, that money being lost to, um, you know, lawsuits, divorces, or uh, unwise um, spending, something like that. Um, so that's, that's the answer. If you've, got a, if you've got a life insurance policy, best not to name a minor child as a beneficiary. Um, I think the best choice is to um, get a living trust and name the trust the beneficiary of that life insurance policy after your spouse. So if you have any questions, please send them our way. 
you can send them to support at layroots.com. We'd love to get your question answered for you in another video. Thanks again for watching.